Hello everyone, I want to say that before the video starts that uh, I'm not the best at tutorials, but I do hope they gain something from watching this video. Now I hope that you enjoy the video. Hello guys, today I'll be making a tutorial on Cute Cut Pro. You guys really wanted me to make this, so I'm gonna give you guys what you want and make you a little cute cut tutorial. But the first thing you'll want to do is to at least create a new movie and have these settings because that's what I use. Once you make your movie, uh, you press the little plus button, add your video or your clip. I'm going to edit one clip uh, to show you guys how to edit. You cannot do much editing in one spot on QCut Pro or it'll like mess up. You're gonna have to save the video over and over again and like because you can't have like multiple like video overlays so it like messes up the video. So I'm gonna have to save the video over and over again it'll like be a process but I'll show, tell you how. Once you get your video on you're gonna add an overlay and if you don't know how to add an overlay I'll show you. But you go to video and you get your overlay that you want. And this is the most common thing I see that's messed up. That people only like lower down the transparency and it like messes up the whole thing. You're gonna first up the transparency to 95%. And it should look like this when it's on that. You're gonna click the three dots and you're gonna turn the exposure all the way up to 80. 85. And now it should look a bit better and more like an overlay on Sony Vegas. And once you do that, you're gonna add a little bit of a fade in just to make it look a bit more emotional. Then you're gonna add the music to line up with the gameplay so it'll look better. Add audio only. First, you'll need to like. Uh, download the music into your photo gallery and if you want me to make a tutorial on that you're gonna have to leave a comment down below so I'm gonna cut out 30 seconds a little bit under 30 seconds and now the beat drop should be around perfectly on where it's supposed to be. If not, I can make a little bit of a change. When you have a transition, when you cut, make sure you always remove the transition or it'll just make your whole video mess up and it'll look weird. The little speed or the little stopwatch is how you speed up videos. And you don't really need to speed it up much, but I'm gonna put it to 250. If you wanna make it look a little bit cooler. I guess if you want to say that. So uh, now I'm going to save the video and I'll get back to you after that. Okay, so now that the video is saved, you're going to go create another movie. And you're going to drop and drag. Or you're going to drop the new video that you just saved. So you're going to go all the way up. Click the new video and push choose. So now you do this, you get to add some effects. Usually I add um, the shockwaves and all this in this part, and I'll show you how to do that. Adding the shockwaves is basically the same thing as adding an overlay. You get, um, change the transparency to 95%, and then you um, put the but then you put the exposure to 100% so you can see it better. Right here is where I want to add my shockwave, so I'm gonna go to my video, find my shockwave, and I'm gonna add it. So now I'm gonna put choose. Click on the 
shockwave, you're gonna go change the transparency to 95%. So now you won't be able to see it, but then you go to exposure, change it to 100, and it's perfect. So now that you have your shockwave on the video, now you're gonna get the sound effect for it. Or if you don't want a sound effect, you don't have to, but I'm gonna add a sound effect. And I'm gonna line the sound effect up with the uh, shockwave. So now that you got your um, sound effect lined up with the uh, shockwave, so now it should sound like this. And now that you have done that, you can add some cool stuff for it. Do that, you can add like a little bit of a shake. Uh, shaking on this isn't really easy because it doesn't have like a shake option or a shake plugin like what normal video editors have. To shake on QCA Pro, you're going to need to use custom transitions and basically just going to keep on making them and you're going to make it like shake. Like I guess you're going to keep on changing where it goes. Okay, so now the shockwave is completely done. And I'll add more to it later. So now we're going to add the main um, part of the video, the effects for the main part. And this one is going to be a little bit harder to do. And I'm going to change the colors of the video. Which is a bit weird for QCut Pro because you can't really use color corrections because I don't have plugins. You're going to find where the beat drop is on the video. And you're just going to line stuff up with it. Okay, so here's one. So now we're going to change the color of the video, and by this we're going to go to where the three dots were, and you're going to up the saturation a little bit, but yeah, right there, and you're going to go down here to where the red is, up it a bit, and to hue, up it a bit, and you, you see you get the video changing color, and now that we have this look, it looks fine, now we're going to get the other beat drop, or the other little click, now we're going to change the colors again. I think this is perfect. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Now we're going to do the third one. So now that we're going to now we're going to fade out the colors and we're going to add another custom transition. A little bit after the last one and we're going to bring all of these back to zero. So the video goes back to normal.